Out keys in the morning, pensioners afternoons, youngsters in the evenings, a day at Weatherspoons, the four or five are waiting, morning drinking crew, ready for the shift ahead, they're going right on through. Faces showing war wounds of the battles with the drink, more the colour purple than the normal healthy pink. A pint at 7.30, a table with some friends, no idea who they are, society's odds and ends. There's a fella in his wheelchair, a double amputee, worked the family trawler, he battled with the sea. A double breakfast whiskey, in the summer topped with pims, helped forget his troubles, helped forget his limbs. The big guy has a Stella, Stella Chaser too. By the time he has his breakfast bap, he hasn't got a clue. A clue of who he's talking to, a clue of where he is. They call him lots of different names. He don't know which one's his. There's a chap who is a smoker, his bladder's all so weak. He's either smoking out the front or off to take a leak. And his beard's really yellow. His fingers aren't much better. And the area around his zip is slowly getting wetter. Then the lady with her trolley. She's got some issues because she tends to weep a lot. Her trolley is filled with tissues. And her nickname is the Iron Lady, because she likes a Guinness. And the only need to add an L, because her real name is Glynis. Yeah. Then sometimes there's the Scotsman, known to all as Jock. He's not an early starter, though. He starts with Aftershock. He doesn't mind which flavour, the blue, the red or black. But once he's got a couple down, he'll settle on cognac. As morning becomes lunchtime, the postal staff arrive, and the early morning drinkers are just about alive. The problems that they came here with, they're starting to forget. They'll stagger to the bookies and have a little bet. The pub is really noisy now, it's pension paradise. A two for one, a meal and drink. They really love the price, and eating really slowly, they chatter on and on, but tea time is approaching. It's time that they were gone. The OAPs are now replaced by workers from the town, and the noise is not so noisy. The noise is dying down. They'll only have a drink or two. They've got a place to go, but the drinkers from this morning continue blow by blow, and each one of them is struggling. They teeter on the brink, rallying and perking up when someone buys a drink. And nothing really happens in the hours up until nine. It's mostly just the girlies and a glass of rosé wine. And the morning crowd are so messed up they don't know who they are. And as time is moving on, there's no room at the bar. Kids want jugs of cocktails, craft beer by the can. They're looking for some love tonight. There is no master plan. But Weatherspoons will give them wings and allows them to be brave. The beer brain they need to pull, the chat up lines they crave. But the landlord calls last orders. It's time to go elsewhere and the early morning drinkers, they offer up their prayer. They pray to God to help them, to get them to the bed, to help them make them through the night. There's no time to be dead. They've got a busy day tomorrow, an early start and all. 7.30 sharpish for the ultimate pub crawl.